Hey, how you guys doing? This is Trigger, and I'm going to be bringing you a new series called Trigger Tuesdays, and where I just talk about any random thing that happens in my life or anything I want to talk about at all. So I hope you guys can, uh, you know, watch this and uh, and enjoy. So one thing I wanted to start off by saying is that you know I started off uh, YouTube probably about a year and a half ago. I can't remember exactly right now, but I think it was uh, I think it was in 2011. I think uh, I'll have to go back and check, but for right now, that's what I think. Uh, maybe you can go check for me, but um, anyways, and I started back then. I was kind of doing some uh, videos for a little clan in the uh, the Golden Eye community <laughs> for the Wii, and you know I'm sure there's a lot of uh, you know people that uh, you know still like that game. And uh, you know for what it was, as tough and as hard as it was to set up clan wars and sometimes nearly impossible, it was uh, a lot of fun. Um, <clears throat> you know the, the game. You know, I think I think what it came down to it was it was that tier system. You know, until you're at level 45 or until you've played so many so many hours, you're not going to have the best gun in the game. And so those that actually played the longest would get the better guns. You know, and they would do uh, you know very well with what they got. So you know that that was one of those games that uh, you know was it was fun for the time. You know, but now if I played it again, I I don't think I'd like it because of the. Uh, the, the snapping that goes on with the uh, the Wii mode, uh, you know, from like snapping onto a guy and snapping off and stuff. But um, uh, yeah, anyways, I moved on to Modern Warfare 3 currently and Black Ops 2. You know, I've been playing Black Ops 2 for a while now and I've been liking the game. I like how they try to balance some things, but uh, there are times where, you know, I think maybe they overbalanced a lot you know how a lot of people say this gun's overpowered that gun's overpowered well you know I, th I think what it comes down to is the fact that everything and anything is going to be overpowered at any point in time so I mean if they just start off the bat by trying to patch this gun and patch that gun it ends up being you know light machine guns target finder and shotguns I mean all day every day and so you know you just look at it like that and you think well you know what maybe we shouldn't have patched all that stuff because there are a lot of, you know, there's a lot of guns in there, but to force people to go through and, you know, use these other types of guns all the time. And I'm not saying I used all the overpowered guns, pretty much I used, you know, I think the only best gun I really used the most was the MSMC. You know, and I used uh, some of the other guns. And so, um, originally I just wanted to stick using using that gun for a little while, and then, uh, you know, doing some other guns with that as well. And I was using the uh, assault rifles too. It wasn't like I only used that gun, but uh, and I used I used the other guns. Um, lately I've wanted to challenge myself and get all the submachine guns diamond even though all the submachine guns are kind of nerfed. <laughs> so, you know, that was kind of a challenging thing and I just recently got them all diamond. Um, and I got them all diamond the same time that the camo packs came out and I'm like, well, I guess I'll just go with the dragon or the cyborg. <laughs> so as soon as I got diamond, I used it like I used the camo once and then dropped it for the new one, you know, that came out. Cause uh, you know, I kind of like the the new you know camos they put out there. Uh, the cyborg's pretty cool. I was kind of looking for you know forward to the paladin, you know, but uh, they didn't bring that one out. I don't know if they're gonna bring it out, but uh, we'll see. So yeah, anyways. Even with that, I want to talk a little bit, you know, about my life. Um, you know, I recently moved back to Milwaukee. Uh, you know, it's yeah, it's been a long time since I lived here. You know, I lived here in my childhood, and I kind of didn't have the greatest memories here because of, you know, different, like, thefts and things that would happen with my bikes, you know, my bicycles that my parents would buy me, you know, when I was younger. And, you know, they weren't the greatest bikes, but, they, you know, it's still something that, you know, you have, like, four bikes stolen in Milwaukee. You know, you don't really want to come back, you know, because you're, you're afraid something else is going to get taken too. Uh, but ironically, I was moving out and I, was, I wasn't living in Milwaukee. I was moving away and uh, someone was inside my truck while I was loading up my Lego castle and my Legos. You know, and, and yes, I have Legos, but, uh, you know, because I used to build a lot. Um, but, uh, I, you know, I was putting it in. I had I had my Lego castle in there when the thief was in the truck and I had tunnel vision it's just like instinct just you know just kicked in and I just ran right after the guy I ran after the guy you know I put down that Lego castle I yelled at him and because of the tunnel vision I didn't look down I was just looking at his you know feet sticking out of the out of the truck and 
I slipped on a puddle and I just like slammed my knee into the into the concrete. I you know slammed my wrist into the concrete and cut it up pretty good. It's almost like there were blades on the on the asphalt because I you know, slipped my wrist pretty good like that. But then I got up and I was just running after him. I was just booking after this guy, and I was catching up to him too. But after like 30 seconds of running after him, he just like I don't know. He turned into he turned on sprint mode and he was just gone. Um, you know, I couldn't catch him. You know, I just wanted to, you know, go out there and catch that guy. You know, I guess, I guess it's maybe, you know, a bit of repressed anger over all the years of having things stolen from me. Now I finally get to confront the, you know, a guy trying to do that. It's almost like, you know, I had this, you know, ambition to take down all those people that stole from me in the past. And, you know, after, you know, after I stopped running after him because he was just, he he was running severely fast. I mean, he must have been a track runner. But after I stopped running after him, I went back to my truck. I was kind of upset because I thought, well, what did he take? And then, you know, I, f I come to find out all he really took was a, a a temperature gauge sensor that I had in my truck. It's an old one, you know, that I didn't really need for the, you know, for my house anymore because it just sort of kind of doesn't work. <laughs> I mean, it works a little bit, but. It kind of doesn't work, but he didn't take the reader, so he can't even use it to tell the temperature anyway. So it's like, what the what the heck did he do that for? You know, what was the point of that? But um, you know, I guess he was looking for a GPS system. And it's a good thing I'm a little bit of a um, old school person. I don't really have that technology yet. I still use a map. You know, I still use the road map, the atlas that uh, you know you can buy at the store. Yes, I do. You know, I'm used to that. That's what I used to do a lot. So. I guess it really comes down to the fact that, you know, it's it's really tough to make this kind of a choice, you know, what you wanna what what you wanna do with this. I mean, you know, I suppose I could have caught the guy. I suppose I could have like pinned him into the truck and called the cops and you know gotten the people to um you know, to come out after him, but uh you know, I I could have done that and uh, you know, given him some justice or else maybe just running after him scared the crap out of him and he just maybe change his ways a little bit, maybe thinking, oh, maybe I don't want to do that anymore. But, um, you know, it, it's kind of hard to say, you know, what you really should do here. Um, this is one of those tough choices. And, you know, for, for you guys that are watching this, um, any advice you want to tell me would be great. You know, I know, um, you know, th this is kind of one of those tough choices. But I guess, you know, when it came down to it, instinct just kicked in. And it was either fight or flight. And I guess when it comes down to it, it's for me, it's more fight. Uh, than flight. Um, you know, I, I wanted my stuff back. I guess I didn't know what he took, but I, you know, I was just I, I wanted my stuff back. I guess I wanted justice for what happened a long time ago. But you know what? I guess the fact is because I can't do it personally myself. You know, God's gonna do that for me, and that's something that you know I need to just you know be mindful of and, and think about that. I guess I guess in the future, you know, you don't know what a thief could have. I mean, you don't know if he could have a weapon. You know, so you got to be careful, and it's it's something that I guess I would not recommend doing. <laughs> it's just something that you know, for me, you know, it just instinctively kicked in, and I just I wasn't even thinking. I just naturally did what I thought I had to do, and so you know, that's just something to um, you know, if there's something I want to tell you. This Trigger Tuesdays is going to be a new series I'm going to bring out. I'm going to do it every single Tuesday. Regardless of whether I have anything to talk about or not, <laughs> but I'm gonna do it every single Tuesday, and I'm gonna stick to it. And uh, I hope you guys can, uh, you know, watch whatever video I put up there and enjoy it. And uh, so, thanks a lot for watching. I will talk to you later, and bye.